On today's episode of Atomic TV, we'll have an ASB Minute, some helpful info on how to end the semester strong, and an important career center info. All that and more coming up next. Hi Bombers, I'm Cassia. And I'm Lucrezia. Welcome back to Atomic TV. Reminder that this coming Monday, we will not have school in order to honor Martin Luther King Jr. Now here's your ASB Minute. Hey Bombers, I'm Annika. And I'm Annika. And we're here with your ASB Minute. This Friday, in our homeroom classes, we are gonna be watching an MLK Day video to spark a conversation about justice and equality in our schools. Make sure you pay special attention to the video because teachers will later be asking a set of discussion questions. Also, a big congratulations to those that participated in the Area 6 DECA competition. If you're interested in watching the video awards ceremony, ask Mr. Ochoa for the link. Lastly, we won't be having school on Monday for MLK Day. Have a great day, Bombers. Now, now back, back to the studio. studio. Girls Bowling has a match today at 2.30 against Kennewick High School. Tonight, Bomber Wrestling takes on Hanford in the Battle of the Bone. Girls Varsity starts at 6 and Boys Varsity starts at 7. This weekend, on Saturday, Boys Swim has a meet at Whitman College starting at 1 p.m. Make sure to mark your calendars for Friday, January 21st. It is the end of first semester. Mr. Norris has some helpful tips on how to manage your time and studying for finals. Hey Bombers, Christian here with Mr. Norris and he's here to tell us about the finals coming up this week. So do you have any tips for us? Yeah, I think some of the biggest things that students don't do well is they, they spend so much time cramming and studying, they don't get good rest. So that's number one, is make sure you get enough quality sleep the night before. Um, also, one of the best things you can do is eat a small breakfast. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a full, you know, take you down to Sterling's or anything, but uh, having a, some fruit, uh, some cereal, some quality stuff for food for breakfast, not just popping in a Pop-Tart. Um, is another quality, quality thing. You definitely want to study the night before and even taking a look over your notes while you eat breakfast can be helpful sometimes. Um, but yeah, it depends. Not all your classes will have finals, but some of them, most of them might. So uh, just being ready and getting a good night's rest and making sure you're studying is a good thing. Oh. So as an incoming freshman, what should we expect like for the finals? That's a great question. Uh, freshmen coming from middle school and with our COVID the last two years haven't had a lot of experience uh, with finals. They they probably haven't had a final unless their class in middle school you know provided high school credit, then they were required to have a final. Um, but uh, typically classes are a little bit longer, about an hour and a half. Um, you have a longer lunch, which is nice, so you can go out. Uh, but we d we don't have every class every day. So Thursday schedule will have zero hour in the morning, um, and then one, three, and five. And on Friday, you'll have classes two, four, and six with a lunch in there somewhere. I don't know the exact schedule, but uh, so yeah, longer class periods to be able to have the enough time to do your final, uh, essentially. When I was a teacher, I had anywhere from uh, 60 to 100 questions on my final, uh, but each teacher will be a little different. Sometimes teachers will do projects instead. Um, so it's just really up to the teacher and the class and the way that they've uh, set it up. Thank you, Mr. Norris. You now bet. back to the studio. Now, it's time for Throwback Thursday. On Thursday, a representative from the electrical apprenticeship will, also, will be in the career center during both lunches and answer questions about the apprenticeship. Also, the admission representatives from such Washington will also be here in the career center from 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. for an on-spot ad admission event. Have a great day, Bombers. Now please stand for the pledge.